Hi everyone, my name is Andrew. I am a professional football player from Brazil. I moved to, to Vietnam in 2020 for Brin Dim Football Club. We did very good seasons there. We got a second position in National Cup and third position in V League. Rafael Sun. Cú đá tuyến hai, rất mạnh. 1-0 cho Bình Định. Edio! Bây giờ thì không thể ngăn cản bàn thắng của Edio nữa. I just moved to Nam Dinh from Binh Dinh Club. I'm very excited to my new journey in Nam Dinh. My name is Andrew and yeah, welcome to my talk sport. Hello, Andrew. How are you doing? Hello, I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm getting used to to the new city. Oh. And then, yeah, I just moved in there, and I'm getting used to yeah everything new. Yeah, everything yeah. is good, right? Yeah, everything okay. All right. So, can you please like share us a bit about the first impression of yours when you first be a part of Namding FC? Yeah, it's like um, I have been there like to play against them like mm -hmm. two times and three times. And um, Namdin atmosphere in the stadium is amazing. Yes. Like fans is crazy. Oh yeah, so I saw that. Yeah, yeah. So they received me very well. Yeah. Oh, that sounds really nice. Mm. I, I'm really glad that you know when you first um, like leave uh, the the old team, but now you get into a new team and you adapt really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I can say like I'm lucky guy. Like yeah. they received me very, very good mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah, so your previous team was Tapaland yeah. Binding. Yeah. And uh, can you remember like when your contract with Tapaland Binding expired, yeah. like how many offers did you get? I got like uh, eight real offers. Eight? Yeah. Wow, that's so, a lot. Yeah, a lot. So it's like um, I'm grateful, like it was a good season, so the things happened, yeah. <laughs> but the one convince me more is Namdi. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, for sure is the project they have like mm. uh, they have very good project they already bought and signed very good players mm -hmm. to make a strong team so that's the main reason oh. and uh, I think we have to be in the place people want us right sure so how is the atmosphere around the camp right now with the team uh, yeah. for example with the coach and with other teammates yeah. is many new players mm -hmm. so take a bit time to everyone adapt but mm. i can say like everyone came is a good good football players like i think it's not only how football player play it's mm. like a personality also yeah, a sure. good person so have like um we uh, also zui just came from national team mm -hmm. mine the goalkeeper yes Juan also he was playing in july mm -hmm. so many many players I knew before, mm. and uh, I play against them. But oh now yes, we are I can tell. Yeah. Okay, so with such a like uh, a big improvement, yeah. um, like during the off season, and how how do you rate uh, about the possibility of Nam Ding for the new season? Yeah, I, the goal should be like the highest possible, mm. always, because they are making the staff are making a big effort and mm -hmm. the company. To, to bring good players, so mm -hmm. yeah, we just need a bit time to connect everyone, but for yeah. sure, I, we, we, we expect being highest possible. <laughs> yeah, so sure. I think that's the same goal to everyone in the team, not just yeah. you. Yeah. Now, let's talk a bit about the previous team of yours, which is Top Land Ding Ding. When you yeah. first got here, which is, uh, do you remember the, the year? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like uh, 2020. 2020, 20, yeah. 2020, right? Yeah, 2020. Yes, and that was during the COVID time. So, what was like the circumstance that led you to Thailand Ding Ding? Mm, I received offer from Vietnam, like I was playing in Spain, mm -hmm. and uh, was few teams, but um, the actually the real offer was from Thailand Ding Ding, mm -hmm. and like the one was searching for my position. Oh. Like uh, a football player with my my characteristics, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I decided 
go there. So your first season was in 2020, and that was very, uh, the very first V-League season of yours. Yeah. And I remember you had only like um, two goals and three of this, mm -hmm. but last year in 2022, it was like the, is that the second V-League season for you? Yeah. And you had um, seven goals and seven assists. So can you share like, what is the difference between two seasons? Yeah, it's like the first season always take time a bit to adapt. Mm, and also we was like, uh, we stop it. We stopped the league because of COVID. Yes. We had to stop, and so less games and uh, the first year to adapt to new teammates mm -hmm. to like uh, new style of football because take time to adapt in Vietnam. You yes. Know? And um, yeah, the second season I was more comfortable mm. with new teammates. The team also was more strong. Yes. And I can play my football more, more happy, more enjoy more. <laughs> I think. Yeah, sure. But like when you first got here, like mm. what do you think? Like what was the uh, the elements that it takes time for you to adapt? Like whether a new teammate, new mm. coach, new strategy, or what? New strategy. The mm. most, the main, the main reason I think because. I was used to play in Europe, mm -hmm. so it's like um, you have less time in mm -hmm. the football, I mean, when you have the ball. Mm -hmm. Here you have a, a bit more time, but uh, so more space, so mm -hmm. you have to adapt, you know, but also the, 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 the game go, my, go up and down all the time, the rim. I think in Europe more tactic. Mm. and the team is more organized tactically, so, mm -hmm. so it's like this make the football more tight, more difficult and... Oh, okay. and more and strict. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Here it's like um, yeah. it's the, the game broke more, but mm. it's also difficult to, to adapt because it's like m more intensity, mm. but uh, maybe have some moments in the game like the team is not too organized tactically, so you mm. have to, to keep energy to that moment mm. to decide the game, so you have to adapt, you know, oh. like to this circumstances different mm. so yeah. that's fair yeah because normally when we talk about like foreign footballers yeah. we talk about the dominant way of like playing do you know yeah, what i mean yeah. when because you know even like in the daily basis we know that for foreigners mm. uh football players are have like they have like bigger body figure mm. like stronger like stamina and everything like that etc so mm. that's why you know i think a lot of people would expect um foreign footballer to yeah. be like that and you are not at all yeah, 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 it's different style. Yeah. Like uh, normally, all players who come here is like they maybe they have like vantage in like the vantage. The, I mean, vantage. It's the characteristic mm. is, is is like the power or mm. the the speed and or because speed, they taller, yes, exactly. they bigger. But uh, I I I can't realize like Vietnam is changing a lot the idea mm -hmm. and the way they are playing national team mm -hmm. they they are seeing like football mm, it's improving and is more about tactic and technique yeah, that's about fair, that's than, fair. than always power mm. so the so yeah i i, I can say like <laughs> my style is different yeah but um, also every year arrive more players like more mm. techniques yes. and yeah. So looking back uh, when you was in Tapeland building for mm. like the whole two years in a row, uh, what was like the most memorable moment for you? And like when you think back, you think like, oh, this is, it's like the second home for me and this is really shaped mm. who I am in Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. F I, I just uh, have to be grateful like mm. uh, how they received me there. Everyone like staff, team, mates, like uh, fans also. Yeah. Like they give me a lot of affect. Mm. affection yeah yes. but um yeah i think it's all moments all the moments maybe this last season mm -hmm. like uh, we we made like very good season like uh, history before been in a long time don't don't play a final like mm -hmm. uh, national cup and uh, also the third position in the league after recollect like many new players so mm. it's yeah it's, it's good memory to yeah for me yeah <laughs> since the, the the first moment i come there mm -hmm. like they show me a lot of love and mm -hmm. and but I, I i actually i i receive that good you know i like it and yeah i i can treat the the people very well because it's how i am you know like mm -hmm. i am friendly like that and um yeah 
I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And they want you to stay and dedicate uh, more for Bing Ding. So I can totally like feel you know how much love Bing Ding people mm -hmm. have for you. Yeah, it's mutual. I think it's mutual. Like uh, I show it this already for mm -hmm. them, like also. And um, yeah, but sometimes football is like that. I I try yeah, to say we don't arrive in mm -hmm. like in good negotiation. We try it, but mm -hmm. uh, the team also had some problems in, in that moment. And it's fair, you know. Like we have to keep. I will keep playing football, mm -hmm. and they will keep the team. Yeah. And that's normal. Now I am very happy where I am so yeah but like yeah. can you review us a bit like what was the reason why you didn't stay I think like a lot of viewers would be so curious about this yeah actually like um, many people told me like uh, why you don't stay they asked mm -hmm. me and um, the main reason was like uh, the negotiation like uh, didn't go through yeah mm. so I tried to stay because I like the city I like the fans yes. the club the teammates. my teammates also yeah but um, wasn't yeah. <laughs> sometimes wasn't like it's not possible what we want. Mm -hmm. So That's it's fair. fine. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. So I think this is like the new uh, chapter for you to be yeah. in the new club. But also yeah. all the memory remains when you know you had a very like memorable time with Bing. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Like uh, it's a good. N I like challenge, mm -hmm. and I think is new good challenge for me like uh, is new project new teammates like uh, Namdin last season like they stay in the league like mm -hmm. but in very difficult situation mm. so this is a new year new 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 league like with new players yeah. so yeah for me i am excited to, to <laughs> start yeah sure well. So this is your new place, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're welcome. Come yeah, thank inside. you. Yeah. Wow, this yeah. new one is very nice. Yeah. So, Andrew, how is the new life here? Oh, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Like I am getting used to the new city, mm -hmm. going around new restaurant, new place. Mm -hmm. It's quite. I am new in the city. Like mm. I think have many places nice. I should. Go around to, yeah, to, discover, to visit, right? yeah, discover, yeah. Uh -huh. What about the people? How do you think about the people in Namdi compared to Big League, for example? Um, I can say like people here receive me very, very mm -hmm. good. Like even in Tet, mm -hmm. I, I go around to see the fireworks. Oh, really? And, yeah, and they, they always welcome with me, like mm -hmm. give me a welcome, very nice. Yeah, so like what about like a typical day of yours look like now? Yeah, wake up, have breakfast here mm. Mm, in my house, like, mm -hmm. and then go training if mm. have training in the morning, and come back, eat, and then afternoon sleep a bit, take a rest, and yeah. afternoon go training again. Mm -hmm. Come back, take a shower, <laughs> go. That's all. <laughs> yeah, the, my routine is normally like that. Yeah. Maybe have a a bit fit time to go around mm. and know the city, mm -hmm. yeah, but not much. I think you love the life here so much, Philip for the next three years. Yeah, I have to adapt <laughs> well. Eh? Yeah. I will try, like I try my best to, to adapt mm. the fast sooner as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think people is very friendly and mm. my my teammates they help me. The one from Vietnam they mm -hmm. they help me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you first arrived to in in V League, everyone named you as a uh, former La Masia player, yeah. right? And do you think that that would put that was putting a lot of pressure on you when you first came here? I am a bit used because, yeah, I everywhere where I played, like mm. when I arrived, the 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 most like uh, the new is like. Uh, Yes. I came from there, yeah. so because it's a very good academy and mm. yeah, all players go there like have quality. So mm -hmm. they expect from me. So I am a bit used, and I try just uh, do my best. And <laughs> I know like if I 
I try hard. Okay, so it doesn't put any pressure on you. No, oh, only, you got uh, used to it. Yeah, this is part of my history, like mm. the time I spent it there. And uh, it's like the way I play, mm. this make, make people remember like I, I came like from signature. there. It's like a signature. Yeah, because they play more like more technique, more like mm. um, tactically. Yeah. So they, they think about that more. But yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I am grateful that this is part of my history. Yeah. Mm. I think that's very cool too, right? Yeah. There's not too many. And I think there, you are like the only one, like the only players in the V-League with that title. So I think yeah. you should be proud of that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so when we're talking about mm. the La Masia, right? Can yeah. you share a bit about, because everyone knows that La Masia is like one of the best academy yeah. in football mm. uh, around the world. But, uh, like I don't know exactly what did they teach you like yeah, yeah. like they they mm, they, f they are different mm -hmm. mm, between each other because th I think they they care about minimum details like about nutrition about um, oh. the way they training yes. football players From like the inside yeah they train uh, fitness but not is the main mm. in in the football yes. they, they care more about tactic about technique and then oh. after when you grow like of course fitness also but mm -hmm. mm, that's what makes the players more more technique more mm. like different style yeah. also they 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 have the impact like they can choose players like mm -hmm. uh, when they are talented mm -hmm. so they just have to improve some stuff so mm. yeah they f they provide many players for everywhere, you know. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. So, how was the competitiveness in the La Masia back in the day? Like how, like do you think like all the like teammates they get along very well and they support each other, or everyone wanted to be the best and you know to achieve in like the professional reason? Yeah, it's like uh, there also they care about that a lot because mm. a lot of ego. Oh, together. of course. So because yes, I can tell. It's like f the best player from Argentina, from Brazil, from... Ah, from so yeah, it they comes from everywhere. Yeah, from everywhere oh. to, to La Masia. So some another cities in Spain also. Yeah, so yeah. it's like they care about f philosophy and about, mm, oh. you know, like... About the mindset. Yeah, mindset mm -hmm. and about be a good person first and then after, okay, you can mm -hmm. be a good player. Mm -hmm. Everyone is a good player here, so yeah. Yeah, like that, you know, like, so that's what make the teams play, like, and the style, the style also they, they teach, mm -hmm. the philosophy they have, it's like play together, mm. not play be individual, yeah. Mm. When you mentioned about the philosophy, right? Yeah. Can you share with us a bit, like, what, what philosophy, like, you got touch? The yeah, because uh, it have a lot of discipline, mm. um, like uh, fair play. So that's what make you like make make you be more humble. 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 Yeah. Yes. Like make you like uh, think about the team before yourself. Mm. So that's what make the teams work because football is a collective sport. It's oh not yeah, a that's individual. Fair. So that's what make the um, the Barcelona teams special, I think. Oh, you think yeah. so? Yeah. So, so far, I think like the audience have learned a lot about your football path uh, from the beginning in the La Masia until now in yeah. Namdeng. But we would love to know more about your personal life as well. Do you mind? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have any other hobbies, like all only football? Mm, I, I like it. Uh, travel when I have mm. when I have free time like I like travel mm. and um, with our job like we cannot do it a lot mm. but uh, when I have some days off in Vietnam like especially in Vietnam like it's easy to travel like everywhere is near mm -hmm. so I like to, to see around and <laughs> know new place yeah. yeah have you been like traveling to all the biggest cities in Vietnam yet yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> if not for play, uh, when I was free, I, I have been. Where can Danang, you name some cities? Da Danang. Danang. Yeah, like Ho Chi Minh, Phu Quoc. Ho Chi Minh City, Phu Quoc. Nha Trang. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So you've been over Vietnam. Yeah. Um. So what about your diet? Like, do you, do you, what do you do to maintain such a good like physical condition? Mm. I remember you have six packs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like. Um, 
I am vegan for five years. Already. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah you are vegan. I am vegan. And um, yeah, I don't know, like, but helped me a lot mm -hmm. in 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 the football. Mm -hmm. Like uh, my fitness was like uh, helping me to to maintain yeah. that, like to to be the recovery was faster. Like also, luckily, not any serious injury like mm. uh, muscle injury like so i think the diet helped a lot and mm. also the way i train it also out after like workout by my myself also mm. and yeah i think it's also my genetic help because i i have to say like i'm not properly mm -hmm. to get injuries and mm. yeah so which yeah. means like when you have injuries it mm. recovers really fast right yeah and also when you have like some muscle sores mm. or like tired from games mm. or training this helped a lot mm. my diet i think helped yeah so was that the reason why you chose to be a vegan because you know for example before when you was eating normally as everyone else mm. how would you know that it would help you that much it's like actually like the main reason was that like i was looking for mm, I, I i like to to search about nutrition about uh, mm. trainings because we are athletes so we have mm. to know about that and um, yeah actually when i started like i tried to start mm -hmm. slowly and i felt very good and I did analysis everything oh. like and medical check and everyone everything improved it mm -hmm. so I say why not I will keep doing really yeah I started with 23 uh -huh. and um, yeah I, I felt very good and yeah I say why not mm -hmm. and then also many reasons but uh, the main reason is that mm, okay. yeah. so guys we just learned about Andrew's life and now we learn about his diet Guys, let's come with me to get home in Naming and find out. So, it's lunch time. Yeah, so that is my di daily diet. Wow. Like um, a bit rice mm -hmm. with mixed with vegetables, mm. lotus rice, yeah. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah, sometimes I change the rice with the uh, pasta, mm -hmm. some and other carbs, mm -hmm. you know, like sweet potato, something mm -hmm. like that. So, shall we eat? Yeah, for okay. sure, let's go. Okay, bon appetit. Okay, bon appetit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, Andrew, can you tell yeah. me, like, why vegetarian food can provide for you all the essential nutrition? Like, it's just veggie. Yeah, but um, when we study a lot about about that, mm -hmm. like um, we discover, like it's more than enough mm -hmm. if you eat properly, like properly nutrients. Yeah. It's more than enough energy. How? Because you know, let's say mm -hmm. veggie only mm -hmm. have like mineral, vitamin. Yeah. What about protein? Have protein also beans, really? like oh, yeah, beans. tofu. Yeah. yeah, have protein. So mm -hmm. and I also still eating egg and cheese mm. so it's like i have some animal protein also mm. Mm. vegan protein mm -hmm. and um, vitamins like b12 mm. like and to recovery better also bca or something like that yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm very happy since i start um, eating vegan vegan like because i normally i don't have muscle sores mm. like my recovery is faster so i can recover after games mm -hmm. actually very good and um, I play all games like uh, last season and So how was the how was the beginning? So you started out you cut the meat, you cut like things step mm. by step? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have to be slowly right? because we have to get used it. Mm -hmm. So cannot cut like uh, one hundred percent in the beginning. It's you hard, have to right? yeah, it takes time and to make your body use it and also yeah. Mm. You have to eat like many meals a day? Yeah, I do, right. but but this since I eat like meat, yeah, yeah, I, I like six eight, meals, yeah, yeah eight, seven, meals, so. yeah, six or seven. Yeah, around that I al always eat. Like people see me and I don't eat a lot, mm. but I eat many times a yeah. day. So that's it's good. like uh, I keep my metabolism quick all the time. So that's that's helped me. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I never thought that vegetarian food can taste this good. Yeah, it's yeah. actually very good and enough nutrition. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So guys, that is Tandro diet, and now we go back to the studio. 
if you wasn't a football player, who do you think you would be? I don't know. Like I have to be grateful for for sport, for football, mm. always because where I come from, like uh, is really dangerous. Oh, really? Part of city in Brazil, mm -hmm. like uh, is a hood. So mm. it's it, football helped me to like, especially to don't go wrong way, mm. to don't do wrong things. Yeah. So That's I'm scary. grateful always. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so did, you, did your mom got the big influence on you? Yeah, or you chose yourself? Mm, like uh, my brother and my mom, they had mm, a lot of influence mm. in my life. So it's like um, they, my mom like give me a lot of freedom to, to choose what oh, whatever I really? want. Yeah, whatever I want to do. So that's it's so important for mm -hmm. parents actually now like parents don't let the kids choose so i think mm. this is Im important like yeah. give freedom to 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 they do what they like mm. they really like to do because in the future if you do what you like it's you have you advantage. have all potential yeah. All to, potential, yeah, yeah. To, to, to develop do. yourself right? exactly mm. yeah Oh, so I can tell you have like a, a very uh, strong bonding with your mom and also yeah. your brother. Yeah, yeah, a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. With my mom, it's like uh, people, I think people can s see already, like they saw it when she came here, like mm. uh, they, kno they knew about her a bit more. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we have very good relationship, mm -hmm. yeah, very nice. Oh, so did you take her everywhere? Yeah, yeah, always when I play really? all countries, I, I try to take her, yeah. And even in my contract, I have always a um, flight for her. Oh, you know? <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, I just know yeah. that now. So basically, you, you tell them to, to, to include the flight exactly. ticket for her yeah. like it's in a year? Yeah. Oh, wow. Every year, she has like uh, one ticket minimum, yeah. <laughs> oh. Because it's important for me, you know, like mm. uh, take them. That's fair. We are far. Like, I always be, uh, I was far from them since too young because I always move because of mm. football so yeah so it's important mm. take them and be close a bit yeah, yeah. that's very nice of you mm. your mom would be mm. really proud of you as well <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah so uh, Hendria, like a yeah. birth of football career do you have any goals in the future I am too exigent with myself mm. like um, of course I have a lot of goals, mm. but uh, I also am realistic and I I want to do the things step by step. Mm -hmm. And now I just arrived in that team, new team in Namdin and I'm very happy like the p how the preseason is going mm -hmm. and um, how I adapted with teammates and step by step we will build a strong team and in my career so do every year mm -hmm. step by step good season mm. this is my goal yeah, yeah but game by game everyone knows that like football mm. players has their own like time limit yeah. right do you think you have your own i don't think about that oh yet. really not yet not yet. Mm. not yet because i still very young and like uh, mm, with health enough like mm. to 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 play more more and more years so mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, but uh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> when I I stop enjoy, mm -hmm. is the which point. mean like the flame is not there yeah, anymore. Yeah, exactly. Maybe this yeah. is the point, you know. Oh, because I think fair. physically my body helped me to to keep it up. That's fair. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew, for coming here and spending time with us to have the talk today. I know that the audience have learned a lot about your football career and also your personal life. Once again, thank you. Thank you so much. It was uh, such a great time here and uh, I'm so grateful. Thank you with the Big Cup and on sport. And that's all for our talk sport today. I hope you guys have enjoyed our talk and I hope to see you in our next episode. I'm Ang Fong, our guest, Hendro. Goodbye and see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>